Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to Let's Play the Incredible Stories of Van Helsing and yes it goes on with it begins with action where it actually stopped that is quite nice so let us just respawn in the secret layer and then get up again I actually as I um, wanted to start the episode I just yeah right directly wanted to start in the old tone but as you have seen I was directly some action. So let's take them down. Oh crap, we are dead again. Man, man, man. I wouldn't have expected these guys to be so um, nasty, but you know, they are champions actually, which makes them a little bit more um, not aggressive. I wanted to say aggressive, that's of course. Um, the complete wrong word, but um, powerful, that's the right word there. And coming, um, I was, you know, the, in the off actually thinking about Diablo 3. You know, what you always have to say that there are similarities in the game. Um, the same with Inquisitor, which is theoretically you can call it a Diablo 3 in the dark future of the 40k universe. Um, but, you know, the games play a little different, but that's not the point. Now that I'm dying here all the time, I was actually thinking about um, that in Diablo 3, you had, um, you needed to repair your items after a time, so it was actually quite um, not cool if you died too, too often. That is luckily not in this game, so that is really good for us. So what I'm actually, um, do they regenerate? They don't seem to die. Come on, get and die. So one is down, just a couple, so they are not regenerating. That is very good. Sorry that is now going on um, between, you know, the secret layer and there, but, you know, at some points you just die and you can't really change things. Um, come to think about the last episode where it was set um, when the layers under siege again you can place different or more powerful traps that means ah, okay if you die they completely regenerate that is nasty so then let us try to take one at least down so then it is worth it actually so just wow good luck man I was afraid that I didn't know that when you die the enemies are actually um, coming are regenerated at least the guys you just thought uh, fought not thought <laughs> um, but good to know so the small guys even were some trouble for us even though they did not um, do anything um, did not I don't, I lost the plot, because there was a new enemy, I haven't seen the um, judge before, that is actually quite nice. So, and I will of course stay away from those nasty mines, because they do a ton of damage once they are, when you stand on them at least. Um, I don't think the Igors, or Igors, or however you want to call them, are the <laughs> nastiest enemies out there. I think actually they were quite easy to kill, which is um, a nice change for a while. So let's then bring those buggers down. There are quite a lot of very fast enemies in the game. I mean, there are um, a couple of slow enemies as the Igors, um, though I have to say they are not the most powerful enemies. Some healing potions would be nice. um, they, I think they um, should have designed them a little bit faster than they would have been a little bit of trouble, but so. Anyhow, as I said before, it's always it's sometimes um, nice to don't have that all enemies are powerful and instantly kill you. And that is what I already um, said before. I think what um, Neocore Games has done well in this game, um, 
why and I will always say that and I hope they um, will do the same thing in Inquisitor Martyr that I think setting wise is this game is absolutely amazing and what I mean with setting wise is that in many games you know you always have the same levels or the levels um, look the same way and here I think um, they did it quite well that everything looks a little bit different we haven't been in the old town here so that is actually really nice even though you okay that's the normal thing that you have say enemies are always in this uh, kind of games you know the same that you always can say but I think environment wise they really did good because um, we had towns we had sewers we had I think everything looks a little bit different and now we have the old town which I think really looks amazing so there I'm really glad that is good for the eye to see some different things. Um, coming now to Inquisitor Martyr, that is actually one thing I didn't like in the beginning. Um, I think they changed that up right now a little bit with you know different kind of maps. At the beginning there were only two there were only two kinds of maps. One the old gothic interior, whether it's an imperial ship or um, town and then they at least we killed that one and then there was the um, outside map which they now changed up completely then they brought in the um, they brought in the tower map where you are you know on top of the city um, but on the outside and then you have your ice map so you have different kind of settings and what we have seen in the what you have actually seen in the um, developer stream that the story maps the missions which we already had as well the maps this are Long live the bourgeois blood sucking aristocracy that was fast and um, what I want to say is that the story missions are story maps are way more detailed than the normal maps and I think that is actually quite nicely done and I hope there will be some you know couple of more maps and um, what they have promised which I think is really amazing that they are going to be um, for free updates or DLCs that they are bringing the game forth and I think that is a important part of such games that you know you don't have a standstill but always bring new content that is what I like Taking it down before it can ram us again. I have to say that is the nasty part about those guys. Once they ram you, you are in a world of hurt. Okay, I'm not going into there. I just realized we completely walked in the wrong direction. So let us then go there. Little mistake on my side but anyhow we are going to discover here at some point um, that is going to happen we will clear out all the map that's what I you know did in Diablo 3 I know Diablo 3 had random maps but every time I had a quest on the map or oh, I was in that area the first time I always cleared it up completely that is just my thing to do I know it is um, time intensive of course but that is just me. I want to see everything off the map. So, gone they are. They didn't even plant any mines, so thank you very much. So, the good thing is what is feels good that we now have enough space to kite them and then one into corners. That is what I meant in the last episode. I think that the beginning of a map is always um, the hardest because you don't have, you know, enough space to probably kite the enemies and clear them out. But after that, you are actually quite well in kiting the enemies around. Portions. So there were some nice critical hits, I have to say. Right, nice. So, 
Titan taking a health portion. That is always what you have to do. I'm there, I'm actually thankful that you don't always have to rely on the health portion that you technically have um, two kind of things. On the one hand, your health portion as usual, which has therefore its cooldown, but you have your um, you have your healing aura there as well. And that is really a nice feeling, which makes the gameplay a little bit more relaxed for you. That is what I enjoy. Oakley dokley. Um, no, I can't do anything there. To be complete, I don't assume I can go through here. Oh, yes, I can. And there we have the, um, the waypoint, which I need. So, I don't have nicely done. Kill them, they are... Oh, crap, I nearly died. So they are all shooty guys, so I can stand still. That is nice for a change as well. Um, there are not too, too many um, shooty enemies in this game, are they? I haven't seen too, too many of them. All right, I'm not going into them right now. I will just, you know, go that trail. Oh, I can't go through here. All right, that's, that's not nice. So we actually have to go there and can clear out that place. The town, the old town, actually looks nice. I think it's um, quite quite appealing for my little eyes. Some human potions would be nice. So there, I wasn't um, near enough to Katrina to um, successfully heal her. That was quite nice. Okay, there's a marksman, or a veteran actually, so that is of course nasty. And he didn't drop anything, what the? That's not nice. I always like if they drop good stuff to upgrade my character. So why not stop, um, begin here? I need healing potions. So there's a new cape, that is nice. I need okay, heal up. And quickly they go. I hope I make it, yes I will. So, one last guy. Down he is. Some nice little equipment actually. Which we of course take gladly. So anything here? No. Then let's begin to clear out the large plaza here. So I guess these guys are the last guys of this episode we are going to kill. After that I probably am going to make a break for, you know, end this episode. That is what I wanted to say. So, well, well, let us kill one more pack. One more pack to kill and then... I don't have any healing potions. As I said, the Igors are not hard enemies, at least by now. Alright, they are very close, rangy. With their gas flamers or whatever they, the weapons are they use. And the, oh, and the exploding by death is not very powerful. That is what I um, was thinking what would happen. So, then let's try to kill them. Of course, the, what is nasty is dead, um, but I think it is makeable. What I um, it's not nasty. What? What? Get out of there! What I wanted to say is that you, in that time, you of course can't put any damage on them. That is not very nice. 
But at least the um, when they are all coming down, that remembers me actually a little bit of the Archon toilet in Sakura 2. So it can deal AoE damage to all of them. So one more remains and shall be taken out right now. Alright guys, um, that then brings us to... What is she fighting actually? Okay, there was one more re remaining. That... All down? I don't know why we can't see them, but down there. So guys, with that, <laughs> we are at the end of this episode. As usual, if you've enjoyed this episode, guys, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. If you have anything to say, leave me a comment. Tell me um, whether it's negative or positive. It's always much appreciated. And well, I will hopefully see you then in the next episode. Until then, have a nice day. Stay frosty. <laughs>